Alessia Russo made her return to Manchester United just over three months after she left the club. And it wasn't just that at stake as Arsenal went looking for their first three points of the campaign. Watching on at Lee Sports Village, Mark Scott. An early season showdown between two of the heavyweights. Mark Skinner sticks with the side that started the late win over Aston Villa last weekend. Ella Toon scored in the dramatic win at the Emirates in November, but hasn't bagged again in her 21 games since her worst run for Manchester United. Jonas Eideval has reacted to the disappointing defeat to Liverpool by making six changes. Amongst them, D'Angelo replaces Zinsberger in goal, while Codina makes her debut for the club. That's a useful pass. Blackstenius. And still, Stina Blackstenius! Arsenal lead. A big goal in a big game for Jonas Eideval's side. And it's Stina Blackstenius who stepped up. It's a really clever run. Curved it to ensure that she stayed on side. And then shrugged off Blundell and slipped it into the bottom corner. Very well taken, no real hope for Mary Earps with that one. Blundell closed down by Little. Arsenal's pressing has been very well orchestrated. George, that's useful. Bolton racing, oh, and she's missed it, D'Angelo! It's an absolute howler! And Leah Galton is on hand to profit. A nightmare for the Arsenal keeper. Manchester United haven't really threatened. But what was a fairly hopeful ball over the top was chased down by Leah Galton. D'Angelo came herring out. It's an absolute air kick. And that left Galton with the easiest of tasks. Oh dear. Jonas Eideval was asked about his choice of goalkeepers tonight and whether it was a more permanent thing to replace Sinsberger with D'Angelo, but he wants everyone to come away from the view that there's a defined first-choice keeper. Well, now then, here's a chance. Oh! And Jay's is inches away, almost her first goal in a Manchester United shirt. It's a beautifully timed run, it's an excellent pass, and it was so close to being the perfect finish as well. Leah Valti. Oh, good run this, good ball in as well. towards the far post and headed behind by Blundell just for a minute you wondered where it was heading the answer is for a corner this could easily have had Arsenal back in front though deep corner little little Stood it up well, and there's the chance, which is spilled by Earps, but then gathered at the second time of asking. Well, that would have been quite the story. Little's ball in. Russo got a clear run at it, didn't really get the contact that she was hoping for, but it still proved a bit tricky for Earps, who could only gather at the second time of asking. Inner side of Al says that Manchester United are a team that is very consistent in the way that they play. It's Russo meanwhile, and Earps to the rescue for Manchester United. Oh, poked over the top, she's onside, got in between a couple of the United defenders, and it's on target until the intervention of Earps to keep out her England teammate. Struggling to create any openings from open play 
you'd say at the moment, though, the away side. That might change here, though. Mornham for Alessia Russo. Russo is so close. Some story that would have been. Russo, who looked like she'd missed the opportunity by not shooting earlier. She had other ideas, though, shifted it brilliantly and curled it wonderfully. And she's unfortunate that having beaten Earps, it was just a couple of inches too far to the right. Otherwise, Arsenal were in front late on, thanks to the former Manchester United forward. Nudge forwards, and Malaz in! How about that? Melvin Malar on her Manchester United debut may well have won it against Arsenal. All the talk was about a new Arsenal striker before the game, but it's a new face in the red of Manchester United that has done the business late on with what could be the winning goal. Well, she managed to just get there in between the two defenders and poked it beyond the grasp of D'Angelo and just inside the post. Lacasse. Lacasse. Good footwork, good try! Oh, my word! It's an absolute cracker from Chloe Lacasse to surely snatch a point for Arsenal. Great footwork to skip away from Gabby George and then as it opened up she had a go and what a go an arrow beyond Mary Earps to draw Arsenal level this time it's Manchester United who have been undone late on and it could get worse for them Lacasse oh and what's that a foul Caitlin Ford is convinced it was. Heart in the mouth time for Manchester United. McCabe's throw. An early season heavyweight clash certainly saw some big blows traded, but neither side could land a knockout punch. Another riveting encounter between these two. Ends Manchester United 2, Arsenal 2. I thought the players gave everything, so when the players give you everything, I think it shows good luck. You're not always going to win them, but you know, they've scored late today, we scored late in the last game, and you know, we want to win it, we always want to win it, but I'm proud of what the players have given in such a short time space. I think the performance was big from us today. I think there's not many teams coming here to Lee Sports Village. And it's the better team than Man United are. But I think when we look back at it in total, I think we should be a little bit disappointed that we don't win the game because we, we have more clear chances than they do. Well, it's nice to focus on what was just a brilliant game on Friday night. Firstly, let's talk about those comments from Jonas Eideval. Did you feel that Arsenal deserved to win that? For me, I thought a, a point apiece was a fair result, to be honest. I thought there was equally good chances at both ends, but I can see why he's frustrated. The goals they gave away, I can see why he'd be disappointed with that, um, because I thought they had some real good spells in the game uh, where they did dominate Manchester United, and they could have put more chances away. So I can see why he's frustrated, but for me, a point of peace was a fair result. OK, let's take a look at the goals that they did concede then, because coming into the game, the focus was on his decision not to play Zinsberger. He says he wants to kind of give them both an opportunity Opportunity. But Sabrina D'Angelo, she probably won't want to see this back. No, and I think it starts with her indecision in the first place. She was quite hesitant whether or not to come off her line. And, and by that point, that indecision, that split second, um, allows Galton to sneak in there and her not to get her feet set properly to make that clearance. And she completely misses the ball. It's, it's a howler at the end of the day, and it's an easy finish for Galton and to get Man United. It is, and then the that sheet. tease and ball initially from Gabby George, I think we've got to commend, but yeah, it was a bit of a howler. Come on then, Anita, I know this one particularly frustrated you, but from more of a defensive point of view. Yeah, I think in this instance, 
Uh, Amanda Illestet has so much pressure on her there from Mala. I don't think she's aware as to where she is positioned. And she's just got to get rid of the ball. She's got to clear that into the stands because you don't have the time then to make a, you know, that communication between herself and the goalkeeper. OK, so if Arsenal had a few issues defensively and with their goalkeeper, one thing they didn't have an issue with was the quality of their finish, particularly for the equaliser fan. I mean, yeah, it was a fantastic finish, wasn't it? We can, we can see Lacassie, she just picks up the ball, she's got one thought in her mind and it's to drive Tay and Gabby George and what an absolutely exquisite finish that is with her left foot to Tay and Gabby George and strike it so powerfully, she gives Mary Apes no chance in the top-hand corner to obviously get the, secure the point for Arsenal. And subs having impact again, mm, again. You know, another substitute coming in in a vital moment to just secure that point for Arsenal. Of course, going into the game, all the headlines are about Alessia Russo returning back to Manchester United after she left and then signed for Arsenal in the summer. How did you feel she did, especially given the reception that she did get from the Manchester United fans? Yeah, I think that's a great point to make, to be honest, because anyone under that reception that she was getting, she was getting booed every time she got the ball, could have crumbled under pressure. But she was playing out of position as well. She was playing wide. And then we see her when she picks up the ball more centrally. She's driving at defenders. She, I thought she had a really good impact on the game. I thought it was an all-round great performance from her. And you can see she joins in here. You know, it's not the best pass to her, but she manages to get out of her feet, take a touch, and she still, you know, she shouldn't really be able to get this shot off but it's a great shot from here and all that was missing really from her performance for me was a goal. Yeah, she definitely had impact, I thought, when she moves more centrally because suddenly she became the focal point for the team, her hold-up play, her ability to play out of pressure. And yeah, I agree, she just she really did deserve a goal. Yeah, that game in general was a brilliant advert, wasn't it, for the WSL. Now that we're going to head to Liverpool, who wrote all of the headlines on the opening.